Hello, this video is for those who'd like to know if the person they've got a crush on has mutual feelings or not. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they're feeling the same way or not about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll see if there is a potential between you and them. Or, if their heart is with someone else, then in the second spread, we'll try to see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please subscribe and donate to support this channel. Let's begin. Hi Libra, let's see what the person you have a crush on or you are in love with think about you. We have the uh, Seven of Pentacles clarified by the world, we have the Ten of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups, then we have the Two of Pentacles and we also have the Six of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands and the Chariot and we have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer. So there's definitely love there. This person really, really loves you. We have uh, two soulmate cards, the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups, and we have the Ten of Cups right there. So the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. To me personally, when I see the Two of Cups, that means that the feelings are mutual and that both of you are on the same page when it comes to love, loving each other, right? And uh, the Two of Cups is clarifying the Ten of Cups. Um, Ten of Cups is all about a happy family, an abundant family, right? Or a committed relationship. I clarified the Ten of Cups because I was kind of, um, I wasn't sure because of the first two cards that came out, the Seven of Pentacles with the world, because they're waiting for something to come to an end. So I was kind of suspicious that perhaps they're involved with somebody else, they're in a relationship with somebody else, or they're married to somebody else, and they're waiting for that to come to an end but um, no <laughs> it's not what they're waiting for I think they're waiting for to get together with you they could be remote from you could be someplace else or you could be separated somehow perhaps you or them had to go on a business trip or they had to travel right and uh, now you're waiting they're waiting for this reunification with you so the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the world, they're waiting for something to to end, right? Perhaps uh, that travel that they're trying to finish, that business trip or that family related trip. It, it's also possible that they're waiting for their financial situation to improve because the Seven of Pentacles, uh, the person in that card is looking at their pentacles, right? And with the world card, they're waiting for something to finish. We also have the Two of Pentacles right there next to the Two of Cups. Yeah, they could be juggling a few things. They could be trying to make money right now. And uh, then we have the Six of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands and the Chariot. So um, yeah, the Six of Cups is all about somebody coming back. So they're, they're wishing, they're hoping to come back pretty soon. They made their plans with the Three of Wands and the Chariot. And that looks like travel plans or plans to come back to you or plans to come see you right then the 801s on the bottom of the deck this is one of the fastest cards in the deck so I think it's also about travel because the 801s often represents travel by air so I would have to assume that this person is at a distance from you or something is in between you and they're waiting for that to finish so they could uh, rejoin you so the two of you can reunite but um, yeah the answer to the question does this person have feelings for you is absolutely yes they do have very uh, deep feelings for you because we have both the uh, ten of cups and the two of cups and the uh, six of cups right and uh, they can't wait to get together with you so let's take a look at the advice uh, spread uh, we'll see where this relationship is going next all right, Libra, let's see what's going to happen between you and this person next. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So it kind of looks like this person is finishing something up with the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of somebody who is... Uh, on the defense but this is an active defense so they will be able to um, defend their position and uh, fight everybody off perhaps they're on a business trip <laughs> and they're fighting for the money or they're fighting for a position somewhere at the company 
So they're finishing something off and they're ready to come towards you. We have the Knight of Wands clarified by the King of Cups. It could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius, or the King of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. The King of Cups could also represent somebody who is uh, in, control, in control of their emotions, who is somebody who is mature. Right, and then we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, so we've got two Sixes. So here they come, they're coming back, or they're coming towards you, and uh, their intention is to um, win you over, I guess, with the, uh, with the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory, this is a card of success. Perhaps they'll want to or try to impress you with their recent achievements. Uh, but they're, they're feeling victorious, they're feeling like they just won at something, or that's at least the way they will position themselves. Right? The Six of Wands also used to be called the uh, proposal card, so, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they'll propose to you at some point uh, in the future. The Knight of uh, Wands is uh, somebody very fiery and very passionate, right? So uh, it's kind of strange that the Knight of Wands is clarified by the King of Cups, but that's what we have. Somebody who is, perhaps they're really passionate behind closed doors, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but uh, when the two of you <clears throat> go out and uh, meet with your friends, then they're sort of in control of their emotions. They don't project, project the... Uh, they don't look like somebody who is uh, all over the place, or somebody who is got the short views or somebody who can uh, do certain things that would uh, make them look like uh, they're very passionate. So uh, I'm not saying you're dealing with somebody who is uh, multi, who is multi personalities, but that's just the way they are. They uh, reserve uh, certain things to private moments. That's what I think here. So yeah, this person is coming back and they're willing to um, make it happen with you and actually want to make it happen with you and uh, they feel victorious. Alright, Libra, so this looks pretty good. Um, whatever they are working on or whatever they're busy with or whatever the distance we saw in the previous spread, I think that it was, that's going to come to an end. Like we saw with the world card, then they're about to come right back or come towards you and uh, get this relationship off the ground with you. Alright, so that's what I got for you, Libra. Other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.